Who the hell is that? Asked the Galactic Ambassador of Tau Seti. Which one? The tall one or the plasma one? Questioned his colleague from neighbouring YZ Seti. No, no, the pink one's over there. With the two legs and arms and whatever the hell that is on top. Some kind of fungus? Spoke the Tower Seti member with growing concern and curiosity. Oh yeah, never seen them before. No new member listed on the roster. Wait, what are they doing? The YZ Seti member stopped to question. As they watched a human casually push aside a couple chairs in the majority leader's ring, plop down a polished brass named plate and probably commandeering the seat of the Eridanus ambassador, who was now left standing in confusion about what was happening. A call to order! A booming voice rang out with great presence from the head seat by the lead member from Virgo. Everyone was seated with the exception of the Eridanus member who just turned in circles looking for his seat in confusion. What are you doing? No staff on the floor during a call to order. Off you go, Virgo stated accusingly. The member from Eridanus pointed around in confusion, but was only met with stern glares from the council leaders. He hung his head and slowly walked off. Let's try this again. Call to order, first item of the agenda, please. Virgo spoke in a moly annoyed manner. <coughs> Is there any water? The human spoke. The lead member Virgo looked at who was speaking out of order and saw someone in the majority leader's ring he did not recognise. A pink-skinned human. Sorry, sir, my mistake. Oh dear. Another human, of a slightly different shade, ran up to the majority leader's ring, spilling water all over the place and hitting a few of the more senior members from Orion with a liberal splash. He proceeded to place the now half-empty pitcher and a glass in front of the other human, and scurried back away into the periphery. Noticing the attention this commotion was given, the human said, Oh, please continue, motioning his hand in a dismissive manner. Who the hell are you? Virgo bellowed accusatorily, pointing at the human in confusion. Oh, sorry, the human said, and rotated the brass plaque around, now revealing some symbols on it that made no sense to anyone at the assembly. There you go, he stated, as if that should answer the question. Virgo, now clearly annoyed, bellowed, What? Who are you and why are you sitting there and where are you from? The human looked to the left and right of himself, trying to identify the question party. No, Virgo said. You, the pink one. The human looked confused and pointed at himself in a questioning manner. Oh, me? Ambassador of Earth, Travis Smith. He took a sip of water. Humans from Sector 001, uh, about, I don't know, 26 light years from here? Okay, at least we are getting somewhere now. Why are you sitting here in that chair? Virgo questioned. This chair? Uh, didn't know there was assigned seating, the human said in a condescending tone. Not the chair. Here. In general. Why are you here? Virgo bellowed clearly, now losing his patience. Oh, that. Yeah, here to represent Earth. As a planet in the galaxy, seems only fitting we get a seat. You know, to be a part of the conversation, make some trade deals, the works, you know? The human Travis said. He then lifted up a briefcase, opened it in front of himself and took out a sandwich, placing the briefcase back on the floor and then proceeded to eat the sandwich. Furious at the complete audacity of the situation and frankly the arrogance of the sudden new member, Virgo slammed his eight fists on the table and ordered, Someone remove this human from the chamber. The human looked up and said, Nah, you can't. We sent a letter. It's in the bylaws. You have ten galactic standard days to respond to the summons. Therefore... The human paused to wash down his sandwich with some refreshing cold water. We were allowed a seat as no objections were made in the given time. Check the bylaws. A bemused rumble overtook the hall, which had been in complete silence watching the spectacle unfold. And here I thought this was going to be just another boring day.
Tell Seti whispered under his breath to Why is there Seti? A small army of confused paper pushers, lawyers and bureaucrats fielded books and legal documents around the leader from Virgo. Everyone looking quite busy and quite baffled. Finally, a single legal volume from a thousand was presented to the leader, along with a corresponding letter from Earth. Can they really do this? Virgo whispered to the legal counsel. It's an old rule, but it is still in effect. How they... The lawyer was cut off. The human cleared his throat and spoke again. You see, all in order. And trust me, huh? our lawyers could walk circles around this place. Hell, half of Earth is made up of lawyers or legal aids. Anyway, I'm here to present you with this. The human leaned forward with a document in hand, beckoning the legal representative to come and take it. The legal representative took the document in confused curiosity and began to read it. Well, what is it? Virgo demanded of the lawyer. It's... it's... it's a lawsuit? They are suing us, the lawyer spluttered. A what? What for? Virgo asked. Illegally storing, distributing and making available earth copyrighted video assets, television programming, music and books. You'll see it's all in order. The human got up and pointed around the room. The galaxy has been served. We'll be seeing you in court.